Hello everyone, I'm Justin, and today I'll be walking you through the Sveltos UI, which recently became available in public preview. Before we get started, let me briefly introduce Sveltos. What is it? Sveltos is a tool designed to simplify the management of Kubernetes clusters, providing a more efficient approach compared to traditional CLI or GitOps methods you may already be familiar with. Once logged in, the homepage offers an overview of the clusters currently managed by Sveltos. For this demonstration, I'm using a development environment provided by the dev team. Here, you can see I'm managing six clusters, which is enough to show the key features. Sveltos is already in production use by companies managing hundreds of Kubernetes clusters. The user interface has been built to scale while remaining intuitive and easy to navigate, making it suitable for environments of any size. At the top, the home page allows for filtering, letting me search for clusters by name, namespace, or labels. For example, if I want to view only the clusters owned by Coke, I can do that easily. This is a multi-tenant environment where I manage both my own clusters and those of other organizations. By applying the filter, I can see the clusters operated by Coke. If I want to see the clusters managed by Pepsi, for example, I simply type Pepsi. As you can see, Pepsi is managing three clusters. Now let's take a look at one of Sveltos's main features, managing add-ons across Kubernetes clusters. By selecting one of my production clusters, I can view the Helm charts already installed. Here we have Caverno, Prometheus, and Grafana. I can see the name, the version, when the configuration was applied, and the cluster profile in use. All of this is managed through Sveltos. I can also view details on the configured resources and the cluster profiles being applied. But what if something goes wrong? How does Sveltos help in diagnosing issues with add-ons? To demonstrate, I've purposely injected an error into my staging cluster using the CLI. From this view, everything seems fine, but when I check the cluster profiles, I notice a red icon showing query status fail. There's an error message here explaining what went wrong, such as why a Helm chart couldn't be deployed or if there was a conflict with other configurations. Next, I want to highlight the multi-tenancy features in Sveltos. I'll log out from the platform admin account and log in as a tenant. Now I'm logged in as the tenant Coke, and as you can see, I can only view the clusters assigned to me. If I try to access the clusters managed by Pepsi, I can't see any, as expected. Lastly, I'd like to mention that we truly value your feedback. The Sveltos UI provides an easy way to share your thoughts with our development team. Just click here to provide your rating and comments. I'm giving them a 10. From my experience working closely with the team, I know they are committed to continuously improving the product based on user feedback. To wrap up, if you're managing Kubernetes clusters and looking for a solution to simplify the handling of add-ons and configurations, Sveltos is definitely worth a try. Thank you for watching this overview of the Sveltos UI. We look forward to hearing your feedback. Sveltos is open source and you can find it on GitHub, where we welcome your contributions and suggestions. You can also join our Slack community to stay updated. Thank you again, and until next time, happy Kubernetes management.